today I have brought you guys a monstrosity. <laughs> Listen up Rangers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve and today I got an unboxing that's been here for like months now. <laughs> I feel really bad about it. Uh, but I thought a while ago it was a 3D printed monster figure of... The name slipped in my mind. I'll have the image here from the comic, but it's the Hive Monster from the Godzilla comic. Uh, the Legendary Godzilla comic. Thought it was really cool, wanted to pick it up. Oh, but anyways, if after the video you guys are interested in picking this guy up, it is done by Robert Durham. Now you can find him on Facebook. I'll try to have a link in the description. But anyways, we're just going to open it up so you guys can kind of see. Actually, so I can see because I haven't even cut this thing open yet. I've been looking for a time to work on this. And my commissions are starting to wind down a little bit. I got a few that are leaving here in the near future. And uh, the ones that I am working on, uh, I can only do them like little by little. But anyways, nicely packaged. It's got a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, things pop. Uh, okay, I do remember him mentioning that um, usually when they he sends them out to my understanding they're cleaned up already uh i can clean it myself so i didn't mind it just being sent to me and i think that was supposed to be there <laughs> but essentially this is how it comes out which is what this is is a resin 3d print all right you may have seen me manhandling this thing a little bit um that's because i actually plan on making this posable i actually have a bunch of little joints that i'm going to be planning on using with this because uh, for the most part, uh, when he was talking to me about this, he mentioned that it's more like a model kit, more so than a posable figure. You'll you see there's ball joints, but they're kind of um, a little scary, especially in terms of making it posable. Because like I don't think that's gonna hold very well. Yeah, because I already popped that on, but it's the casing for it's already kind of cracking. Um, so what you're supposed to do is you kind of put it on, you glue it on, and bam, you're good to go. And it, you get some options for posing. But I want to actually be able to pose this thing. So this might be interesting. So for the most part, uh, for some of these sections, especially this one that's really small, I'll probably make a little hole, insert my peg, glue the peg in. So this is only going to work in one direction, but then you can still rotate it at the body. Probably gonna be my best avenue to, su to success that way, and these ones will be a little bit easier. But for the most part, it's probably gonna be the same thing as so I'll glue it in the sections, and then you'll kind of be able to work in one direction. You can rotate it um, for the most part, anyways. At least maybe this one I might be able to get away with the extra little ball joint ones I got, but uh, I'll have to mess around with that a little bit more here in a few. Uh, I'm gonna kind of clean these up a little bit. Here and there, because I gotta remove some of the nub marks and start sizing up all the joints that I'm gonna need. That this tail is kind of a little bit squished, so that's gonna get, get seen down there too. Back in a bit. All right, so for the rest of this video, at least till we get to the end, I'm probably just gonna play some music in the background, and just let it let it do its thing. Uh, but just show you guys what I'm doing is I am taking these joints what these are is ball joints uh, this one is the double section um, I have these guys which are just they call them ball joints but it's more like a hinge where it goes in one direction you can rotate it's kind of a lot of action figures use that one and wherever my little one went and I have these single ones single ball joints uh, which are probably going to be using for like the limbs and stuff like that uh, but for the most part, it's just going to be a lot of me drilling out sections and re-gluing parts back in and then 
kind of just making it work. All right, so real quick, I just realized when editing this video that I'm not going to have any of the footage for putting the joints in. Now, a lot of that's because uh, I sort of noticed it when I got done filming that section as it seemed like the camera was a little bit off. And once I went back to editing, uh, all you can really see is my elbow. So you don't really see me doing literally anything for about two hours worth of footage. So uh, the rest of this video is pretty much just going to be me painting the figure up. So enjoy. Back in a bit.
craft table is a little messy, but here is the finished product. Got them all painted up. Got the blacks, the blues on them, a little bit of yellows and whites for the eyes. And for the wing sections. I uh, kept it looking fairly comic booky, so it's not quite the most realistic looking thing <laughs> in terms of the colors. But I like the harsh contrast between the blues and the blacks. It really helps to make it stand out on a shelf. And I'll be honest, it's probably not going to be handing out really with the um, 2014 Godzilla, which actually is a really nice size next to it. Um, it'll probably be handing out with my uh, Dark Horse one that I did. Because it's more meant to be... A comic book style. Uh, the only other thing is I drilled a hole on the bottom of the stomach so that it'll be able to hang out on a stand and be floating. Uh, but currently what we got with this is now you can move the wings. So these are fully posable now so you can rotate them if you want to make it looking more like intimidating <laughs> or what have you. The little arms here can move around. The head can look up and down uh, you can rotate it and then the mouth down here opens and closes I like that I kind of wish is the tail was a little bit oops, as I knocked the head off and then with the tail here I kind of wish I would have went with the bigger ball joints I had a little bit of super glue on the outside to make it a little sturdier so sometimes they like to pop off a little bit easier now uh, but you can a little bit of finessing Pretty much, you probably need an extra stand, but you can get it to pose. And go underneath. Then go side to side, too. But, <laughs> because it's all ball joint stuff. And tiny ball joint stuff. Uh, these can pop out fairly easy. But, still in the end, works really well for me. Super pleased with it. Uh, if I really wanted to, a lot of these, if I want to keep them in position, you can rotate the ball joint. So then this isn't going to be moving anymore. Granted, it kind of breaks the detailing, but it's an option if you really wanted it. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kaijus. Use by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a rager today. Also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like people of the day with channel. Donate. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.